Hello everybody, Neil here from The Four Corners and welcome to a very exciting video because today we have our first reliable Ninjago 2022 set list. We had this legacy set list we looked at earlier and that turned out to be fake, but this one seems to have a lot more credentials to it, meaning we can trust it a lot more. Unfortunately, this is for legacy though, meaning these are the legacy sets releasing on January 1st, 2022 and the rumors as well so all of them don't have to be made but let's get into the legacy set names first off we have the modular build which we've looked at before we had a rumor of that a long time ago and this is here so we're getting some type of modular build it's supposed to be $100 around that area according to the old leak so you can expect something like that I have no idea what it's going to be though there's going to be another Ninjago 4 plus mech, yay! Everybody loves 4 plus mechs, especially the Electro mech. But we're getting another one of those. Those are for the children who are really young and can't really build much yet. There's also the Legendary Dragon, which I am not sure what that is. There's so much things that can be called a Legendary Dragon. The first thing that came to my mind was the Ultra Dragon, but that was a old Season 2 set that they remade already for... Legacy and Legacy is all about remaking sets, but they're not going to remake sets that have already been made. So then I was thinking about the Titanium Dragon from Tournament of Elements, or there's the Mech Dragon from Rebooted. There's so much options because Ninjago is all about dragons. There's a dragon almost every season. And there's also the Moro Dragon from Possession. And that's how far Legacy is going for now. They're not remaking any sets. After that, unless all of a sudden Legacy next year decides to remake sets from Season 1 all the way through Season 6, which is Skybound, which feels a little bit more recent, but that's fine. Legacy can do whatever they want. But the reason I think Skybound's coming back is because the next set name, Jay's Thunder Dragon, that was a dragon from Skybound. It was called Jay's Elemental Lightning Dragon. But Jay's had two dragons within the Legacy time. He also had one in Season 1, which they could be remaking that one, and that seems a lot more possible since they just made Kai's Fire Dragon from Season 1 into a set for Legacy Summer, which means maybe they want to make a J-Dragon on. That would be epic. I can't wait to see a full-scaled, proper J-Dragon again. There's Zane's Power Up Mech, and I'm honestly kind of clueless to this because they made Zane's Titan Mech for Possession. They remade it based off of the older set. And before Possession, or even after that, he's never really had much mech, so I don't know what set they're remaking here, but maybe this is a Season 16 set. That would be cool. Maybe this isn't Legacy, and we have some Season 16 sets mixed in here as well. And then the next set name is the most vague set name you will ever see. It is a Kai vehicle, and Kai has a ton of vehicles, so this is kind of out there. Maybe it's the Blade Cycle from Season 2 and 1. Or even in that case, that was still a Kai vehicle that's already been made into Legacy. And most of the Kai vehicles have already been translated and remade already. So there's really not much to make for Kai. So again, this might be a Season 16 vehicle. I'm completely shooting free here. There's Lloyd's car, and I'm not sure what that is. Again, I think Legacy is going to move seasons. They're going to stop doing Season 1 to 5 and maybe go to some more future and recent seasons. Who knows, maybe they'll make First Board or Stormbringer. I honestly don't know. But Lloyd's car could be the Samurai X car that Garmadon and him drove and rebooted and that came in the Mech Dragon, Ninjoid Mech Dragon set originally as a side build but maybe they'll make it into its own little car and I think that's a pretty good idea. But the next set name is what makes me think this is part of some type of Season 16 set list because it says Power Spinjitsu and usually we only get the new spinners or the little $10 sets for the proper season because it usually sells well since they have more of a story to tell. There's one for Kai, J, and Lloyd which is the usual. Kai, J, Lloyd sell the best so they're gonna go ahead and get these little $10 sets. Power Spin Jutsu, I have no idea what it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to follow the same format as before, where it's minifigure based and you're going to have to put someone in the middle, and then somehow you launch it. They just change the way you launch it sometimes, and it works or it either doesn't work. But maybe this has something to do with Season 16's Forbidden Spin Jutsu. I'd love to see that, or maybe this is just a remake of those spinner tops we got originally for Legacy. 
However, that is all for this video looking at all these 2022 Legacy set names. I have a good feeling some of these are for Season 16 and I'm not sure how reliable the fact that this is Legacy. But I can't wait to see all these sets in action and see what these really are because this is so vague and so weird to look at. Thank you for watching and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.